Hey guys, this is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics today with another highly requested video. Today I'll be taking apart an Apple Watch Series 5 40mm. Let's begin. Set the heat about to 200 degrees Celsius. It's about good for the heat. Let's take a thin pry tool. Don't go deep inside because it will damage ribbons. That's how it looks like inside. There's the screen, battery. Battery is a little bit different from the Series 4 and all the models below that. Ribbon's about the same on the Series 5 and the Series 4. So we'll see if they will be compatible or not. Let's go ahead and start the teardown process. <laughs> There's the screen. Battery might just have a shield over it. This comes off as one piece. Interesting. Okay, the battery is all insulated with metal so it's less likely you could puncture it but it's pretty much the battery for the series 5 let's go ahead and get dig down deeper into it make sure to organize where the, all the screws go so in case you do want to put it back you will know battery Next, it looks like the same design as the Series 4 Apple Watch. The Taptic engine, all the screws are pretty much in the same place. Looks like the board is a little bit different on where the ribbons actually sit. So that's a big, big improvement for Apple. And other than that, the ribbon and everything sit right in the same spot. So let's continue the teardown. Now we're taking apart the Taptic engine. Let's 
make sure to not strip the screws when taken apart. There will be a shield right on here. Make sure when you are taking apart these screws, you don't let this wind up like you saw there. Just think, just so you don't break the, the ribbon. Now instead of these being together, they act together with the ribbon. They are actually separate, so Apple did that as a change. They are not together anymore, so they are, you can take those apart. Uh, things that hold the uh, antenna together. Now we are gonna release the back cover. Now it's all one ribbon instead of one that was before for the power button. Of course, they, Apple put the film over the screw again, and then there's that shield to hold everything down. Back cover still gets, still stays on. Pull out the shield, last of the shield. And the layout of the screws is pretty much how the layout of the watch will be all put back in to whenever what part you need to be replaced. So let's pull off the board in the back. came out very nicely. Normally it doesn't come out as nice. Pull out the board. The back housing. And that is the teardown of the Apple Watch Series 5. Thanks for watching guys.